Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, I have a new movie that I'm going to discuss a little bit of. Um, I watched it last night outside on the projector. Uh, this is the time of year that I set up a uh, my screen and my projector and all that stuff outside in our carport and some chairs. And, and uh, typically, uh, I'll have uh, people over... Uh, from now until Halloween, to uh, just enjoy like a horror movie, scary, whatever, you know, uh, in that type of genre uh, movie, and uh, we just hang out and stuff, and this is the first movie that uh, we come across uh, to watch, and uh, we found it on Netflix, and uh, it's called We Summon the Darkness, and it came out, whatever you can find on it, it came out in either 2019 or 2020. So I've seen a couple of different uh, dates on it. Now, uh, if you keep up with my channel, if you watch any of my movie discussions, TV discussions, anything like that, you know that I use my handy dandy trusty notes. Guys, I can't remember everything. You can't expect me to remember everything. I got like four or five pages of stuff wrote down and that's crazy. So this is gonna be a long video. So let's go ahead and get on the movie here, okay? We Summon the Darkness. It stars, and I'm going to butcher some names, so be prepared. Alexandra Daddario as Alexis. Maddie Hassan as Val. Amy Forsyth as Beverly. Kean Johnson as Mark. Logan Miller as Kovacs. Austin Swift as Ivan. And we even get a little bit of uh, Johnny Knoxville off in there as John Henry Butler. And there's a couple of little characters in there. Very few, though. It's not a, a big character uh, type movie. Just a handful of people. So, anyway, let's go on with the story, guys. The story is three girls are taking a road trip to a concert. They meet some guys... They offer to hang out with them afterwards at Alexis's dad's house. Soon things take a dark twist down a religious, dark, crazy rabbit hole. That's how I'll describe it. Um, this movie is set in the 80s, like the mid to later 80s. They're talking about Nintendo and Metroid or whatever so there it's this is the late kind of mid to late 80s uh, that it's supposed to be taking part in um i want to get this out of the way uh if you pay attention you can pick up uh hints as to what's about to go down uh, my nephew and me were pretty much calling the shots like every couple of minutes we would kind of say yeah well this and yeah that's gonna and then she's gonna and he's gonna and they're gonna and you know uh it, it was one of those movies that if you kind of paid attention uh, you could instantly kind of start doing that so uh and that's nothing new uh, really a lot of movies are that way so i'm not gonna really nitpick it about that because uh you know a lot of movies are, are that way but uh anyway uh, I am going to say that uh, this movie touches on religion and uh, how some people can take things a little bit too far. And I'll touch on that a little bit later. Uh, so let's get on to the characters. Uh, you have six main people and all six of them are images uh, of real life personalities that you know we'll see in our daily lives. Uh, they all represent... Uh, that token character, that token person. Uh, I really can't go into details because I'll spoil the movie. I'll just say that they all play their roles well. I do think uh, Val stands out in the girl group. I'm putting them in groups. You know, we got three girls, three guys. So I think Val stands out in the girls group. Uh, she's flirty. Uh, she plays the party girl well. She's sexy. She has uh, at least a couple of funny moments uh, in the movie and a couple of funny lines. And uh, to me, she stands out really as a, 
the main, uh, more fun character, I think, of the girls. I will say on a side note here, uh, Alexis does have some standout moments. Her last moments in the movie, you kind of see the desperation uh, and the hurt in her. Uh, and and uh, even, even the other girl... Um, Beverly, you know, she does okay too. She's she's kind of a dry character, not a whole lot to her. Okay, out of the guys, I would say Mark stands out. Uh, he's looking super awesome with his uh, sweet 80s mullet. Uh, he has kind of a more calm, cool demeanor to him. Uh, whereas the other couple of guys are, are, you know, a little bit more loud or boisterous or kind of you know, it's hard, it's hard to explain the one guy, but, uh, you'll see, you'll see if you watch the movie. Um, now I'd like to go on to the script and I'm not some movie critic and, and pay super close attention to everything, but, uh, and I may touch on the whole, uh, you can pick things out pretty easily, uh, in this movie, uh, here as well, I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, the script. Uh, the movie seems to flow well enough. Uh, we see them go, we see the girls start out on their little road trip to this concert, and then, you know, you have a stop along the way, and then you get to the concert, and then, you know, you meet these guys, and after the concert, you know, all of you kind of go uh, off, to party and that's kind of where the movie takes off right there so uh, uh we see twists and turns in the movie uh, again we do get that slight 80s vibe uh, since it is set in the 80s um there's uh, uh there is a little slowdown for me uh, in the middle of the movie let's just say it involves a pantry or a closet uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a little bit too much sp time spent focusing what's going on in this in this area. And uh, also, like I, like I did mention, uh, you can figure uh, a lot of the stuff out uh, in the movie as it plays out. Uh, which is kind of fun, though, because then you can pat yourself on the back for being right. So... You know, you got to look at the goods and bads with uh, something like that. Okay? Now, as far as cinematography goes, uh, actually, the movie looks really good. Uh, there's some interesting shots, especially with Val. <sighs> but no, she does, they do a couple of interesting shots with her. It's kind of whatever. You'll see. You'll notice if you pay attention to that kind of stuff. The camera does like her. Uh, there's some great uh, low light uh, moments later on as well. Uh, you re you really get those like uh, accent lights off in the uh, in the shots uh, with the blues and the purpley kind of stuff. So that uh, that was kind of surprising and it, it looked really good uh, while you got to see it. So now we're gonna move on to music slash score. Okay. Uh, it's set in the 80s. You would think if it's set in the 80s, you're going to get like an uh, uh, overabundance of just a bunch of, you know, like uh, 80s stuff slamming you in the face there. But uh, you don't really. You get a lot of uh, your typical score uh, that brings some tension and interest to the scenes. I actually think they did really well. Uh, and it actually, uh, I found myself having moments of... A little bit of uh, uneasiness and uh, I was really surprised at that and uh, yeah so the movie set in the 80s uh, but we don't get smacked in the face with it and uh, something I also uh, want to touch on as far as script goes is you know these kind of movies you know how they are you know the end of the movie there's typically going to be uh, a final person right a final girl usually is what you get now i'm not gonna say that it's not a girl i'm not gonna say it's anything i'm just gonna say it's it's different and uh i'm glad to see at least that this movie uh went that direction with it so yeah it's 
that's okay. Um, so we're kind of heading down to the last bits here. Um, this is just kind of uh, something in my opinion. Now, I am an atheist. Uh, if you want to call me an agnostic some days, then I might be an agnostic as well. But uh, for me as an atheist, this movie does show me uh, just one more reason uh, most religions are bad. Uh, this movie is more truth than fiction. Um, from the head leaders to the blind followers, uh, the feel they have no real uh, other real options in life but to follow these people. And uh, it, it really, it really uh, at the end of the day, is kind of, uh, it's kind of sad. It really is. Uh, because, you know, I, I mean, it, this movie's not really to be taken seriously, but if you take some of this, uh, you know, some of the story here, it's actually pretty sad, and it really does uh, affect us uh, worldwide, uh, because, you know, I don't want to get on a religious uh, discussion here, but religion is a... Uh, a very dangerous thing and I don't care what your religion is if it's based around brainwashing and um, power and money uh, which most of them are uh, it's a very dangerous thing so this movie touches on that just kind of uh, in a horror kind of movie kind of way so uh, yeah uh, I really could go into spoilers easily with this movie, and I think, honestly, uh, this movie really deserves that. It's it's really odd. It's it's not like this great movie, but the story kind of lends itself to really talking about it. So, uh, uh, it, it's not even that great. But the story, the characters, the twist are very worthy of talking about. Um, and honestly, last night after we finished watching it, I think I gave it a, I told him if I had to score it, I told my nephew, if I had to score it, I'd give it a four out of 10. I think he said a five out of 10. Um, but today, uh, I just kind of, you know, browsed through the movie, you know, a little bit here, a little there and all that. And I was watching and, uh, uh, honestly, my score, if I were to score it, I'm not big on scoring stuff, but if I had to give this movie a score, I'd probably go up two points from yesterday. I'd probably give it a six out of ten. And, uh, and I think a lot of that is because I'm really looking a little deeper into the story than what I was. And I'm kind of looking into the characters, and I'm looking into the uh, the cinematography, and I'm looking into some of the acting. Uh, really, uh, you know, this isn't filled with your grade A actors, okay? We're not going to pretend that it is. But what you get uh, for the story and what's asked of these characters in this story and this movie, uh, I think that they all really bring their A-game to it. And uh, after stewing on it overnight and waking up thinking about it and going back and watching a little bit of it again this morning, I really, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty decent. I really do. Um, now, I, I probably will never watch it again after this, but unless it's for Val. No, not even for Val. Uh, I'll probably never watch it again, but... I do recommend you giving it a shot. Uh, I don't think you'll be too disappointed, and I think you'll agree with a lot of what I got to say, even about uh, being able to kind of read the movie and uh, kind of predict kind of what's going on and what's happening and uh, and uh, some other things and some fun and some of the stuff with Val, like I mentioned, you know, not only just you know uh, the visuals of her, but. Uh, some of the moments uh, that she has and kind of says and stuff, it is actually funny. And uh, anyway, that's kind of my discussion of this movie. Uh, we Summon the Darkness. Uh, again, not a bad movie, not a bad flick. So uh, uh, you'll find it on Netflix and you can probably find it somewhere else. I have no idea. I just found it on Netflix.
So, uh, anyways, guys, this is really uh, all I got to say on it. And this is part one, really, of my Halloween uh, little series that I'm doing uh, from now until uh, October 30th is a Saturday. Uh, I'll try to get in a movie discussion sometime in there but uh, October 30th is going to be pretty busy we're having a Halloween party here at my house and we're gonna have a, several people over so uh, it may be uh, Friday instead of Saturday so we'll see anyways guys uh, like share subscribe comment all that good stuff thanks for watching uh, don't forget go in there check out all the playlists at Mikey Sun TV and I'm sure you're going to find something that you like and push my channel out there. I'm a decent, good, wholesome-ish uh, family channel. And uh, I try to put out decent content and inspire people to do things throughout their day as well that they uh, like, love, enjoy hobbies. Uh, maybe even find something that you didn't know that you loved out there, okay? All right, so get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on Mikey Sun TV. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!